All right, guys, we are going to jump into a TJ Maxx and Marshalls beauty haul. Now, some of these products I have for about two months, and there are some products you can find now here and there at uh, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So let's jump right in. All right, so let's talk about a brow pencil that I found. I ended up picking up the Too Faced Dark Brown Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I was really curious about it. I think the packaging is really cute. So here's how it looks. It's that. So I'm going to try this out and see how it is. I think I paid, was this $8.99 for this? So we'll see how this works out. I ended up picking up a couple things from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Now, I also have some things that I picked up from Morphe. One day, Morphe had a really good sale on Jaclyn Cosmetics. It was like 70 or 80% off. So I ended up picking up a few things that I will show you later. But um, one thing I did find at Marshall's was this Skin Perfecting Oil Primer. Now, I know Smashbox have something like this, but... I like that this was only $7.99, and I know they still sell this probably on, at Ulta. I think Ulta still carries this, so let's show you how it looks. My skin gets a little bit dry. I like the, the bottle, so that's that. So this was $7.99. Now let's talk about foundation. So I ended up picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I picked up two. They were $9.99 each. I got the shade 345C and 300c i think 300c is a, a decent match for me 345c is a little bit deeper i find that when i mix them together they really work well so i picked up two of these i was really excited to try this another foundation that i was excited to find was was the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer this is the shade 46 golden neutral this was 10.99 i always wanted to try this foundation because i heard good things about it so i was happy to be able to pick this up so that one um a couple more things from jacqueline hill that i found at marshall's um was a cream bronzer that was 5.99 Although I don't need another cream bronzer, but you know, it was drugstore price and I was curious about it. So I said, you know what? Why not? So why not try it? So this is how the shade is. This might've been a part of one of her summer collections, but I cannot wait to dip into that. Now I also found a putty. What is this? Yes, a putty highlighter. This was $5.99 as well. I know some people are still finding Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So this is, this is the highlighter. This is the shade Skylight. So there's that one. Since we're talking about Jaclyn, let me just go ahead and pull out the stuff that I got from, from the website. From the Morphe website. So I was really, really excited to pick up this mesmerized highlighter. I've been wanting it for a very long time. Um, let me show you. A lot of you probably already know how this looks. Kind of a bulky packaging, but I really don't mind. I think it's really pretty. So that's mesmerized. It's that shade there. Very popular shade. I'm at, I am on the hunt for one of the loose highlighters. I know that's been popping up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Just want one of them. Uh, let's see, I picked up the under eye powder. I heard really good things about this. So I want to try it out. So here it is. It's that. This is the shade Bright, Brightening Light Banana. So that's that one. The thing I picked up was something I didn't need because I didn't need another bronzer. I didn't. But I got it. So um, this is the shade Top Down. This does have like a scent of like sweet coffee. So here's how it looks. That's that. And this is the shade. So I picked this one up at Morphe. So let's get into Lila B. There's been a lot of Lila B popping up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I still see it there. Now, a couple of these items my mom gave to me, so I'm going to show you them anyway. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is a powder foundation in the shade Be Timeless. 
that one. I love the packaging, just kind of like slide it. Very, it's pretty heavyweight. It's already took it out the box. The other powder, same powder, different shade. This is Be Pure. This one's a little lighter, but the other shade I'll probably end up using as a bronzer. I did play with it, um, using it as a bronzer, and I like the formula. I like how it blends and the, the shade. So, But this one I will use all over my face. This is a cream foundation. This is in the shade B Classic. I did dip into it already, and I do like the shade. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more. I also have some mini eye primer slash concealer and the shade is be vibrant and this one is be bright just slide they're so small and cute so this one is be bright i think this this would be good for a concealer i probably could just use this for brightening under the eye as well as like eye primer so i have to play with this a little bit more and that's Barley Barking, of course. <laughs> that's what he does best. <laughs> barley, and now that's Bella Barking. All right, so this is what I was really excited to find. The powders in that cream foundation was $9.99. Um, but this is what I was really excited to find because a lot of YouTubers talked about how good this is. This is the bron another bronzer, I know. But I <laughs> I've been eyeing this for a long time, but I was, no I was not going to pay full price for it. So this is how the packaging looks, how it comes, all the products like that. And you gotta pull it out. So I kept it for the bronzer. So here it is. Again, you just slide it and this is the bronzer. So I heard good things about this. It's that. And this was, this bronzer was $7.99. A lot of people are finding the Pat McGrath and the Bridgerton collection at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I already had the, the blush palette and eyeshadow palette from the first release. And from the second release, I had the blush palette. So I ended up finding the eyeshadow palette for the second release. And this is what I didn't have. So this was $24.99. The blush palettes were $19.99. So here it is. I can't wait to use these two shades here. This is from the second release. And it was 20 again, it was $24.99. I would definitely check your closest TJ Maxx and Marshalls to see if they have it. I feel like this collection was like a recent find. So it was a good chance there might have more come in, or you might be able to pick it up at your store. Alright, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.